Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. This is an update to my split screens on how to use them in a 4K workflow. If you're not familiar with the uh, split screens, I made them available. If you donate $20, you can get all 50 animated uh, split screens. And there's a whole bunch. There's a link in the description of how you can do that. Basically, you support us on PayPal and you get to download that and use it in Premiere Pro. Now, the feature I'm about to show you is in the newest version of Premiere Pro that when you scale a sequence, it also scales all of the attributes, all of the animation attributes. So if you don't do that, uh, then you're going to have to manually fix this. So this is not using 4K in the HD versions because all of my split screens are based on HD sequences. I'm going to take one of those HD sequences, convert it to Ultra HD 3840-2160, and then drop in 4K media. Let's go have a look. So here's all of the split screens. I'm going to copy one out of there, and I'll choose this one. So I'll just copy that and paste that. And you can see I've moved my video info to show you. This is 19, 20, 1080, um, and all of my clips are Ultra HD. So with this open, you can see there's the animation that we expect. So we, all three screens on the left side are hidden, and on the right side, it comes up. If we go to the sequence menu, sequence settings, and change this to 3840, by 2160 and make sure scale motion effects is on. Click OK and it looks like you've broken it. So it doesn't scale the media that I have in there, which is uh, HD media. Don't worry, it'll still work when you drag these in. So the way you use these, if you're not familiar with what I've created, hold the Option key on Mac, Alt key on Windows, and drag each one into a placeholder. So I've got four videos here that are um, Ultra HD. I'm going to drag them in. So I'm holding Alt on Windows, Option on Mac, drag that in, and you can see it actually shows up in the right place. Now when I go back and hit play, I've got a 4K sequence and I've got 4K media playing back. And I can still go into the settings here and change the position so I can reframe each one of these. That's why I built the, this way. Now, let me show you what happens when you don't do that. So I'll go back to my 1920 1080 and I'll show you if I change the same sequence settings and turn that off, 3840. This is what would happen in an older version of Premiere Pro that does not have this option. Click OK. Um, it looks like it did the same thing and it looks like it works. So if I drag these in, your first thought is, hey, looks like it works to me. Does it? I'll show you what happens when I go back to the beginning. They don't start off screen because something in the effects controls was not scaled. So you can take my HD split screens, you can convert them to 4K in the newest version of Premiere Pro. I mean, even if you have an old version of Premiere Pro, you can still go and find out what those settings are that make it wrong because I didn't make these with 4K in mind. It's just the newest version of Premiere Pro actually helps me convert these very easily. So. There you go. Um, if you, like I said, if you don't know about my 4K split screens, there's 50 of them. Um, and you can drag and drop. They're anywhere from two up on the screen up to nine up on the screen. Each one have unique animations that you can use for all of their, uh, all of your videos. And I also have a, a, a tutorial on how to make these from scratch, um, how to, to use them, and another one on how to place multiple clips inside one of these split screen frames. Well, hopefully that's uh, something you find useful. If you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us more and get these split screens, you can do that through PayPal. There's a link in the description and one in the, uh, in the front of the channel. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get your productions looking a heck of a lot cooler.